Rowe with the U.S. national team, and you're watching PressPassTV.com. Hi, welcome to Press Pass TV. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Artsis. Some NFL players don't have their own charities, but they still enjoy giving back. You're about to meet a guy who fits that mold and who himself has an interesting story that spans the globe and now has him back on an NFL gridiron right here in the U.S. We get a chance to hang out with Sean Mulcahy at his friend Dan Orlovsky's charity golf tournament as he gives his time. That's lost. I guess last year? Okay. Since August. Right? Since August. I thought you guys liked playing golf. Yeah, but it's, I don't, you know, I don't know. So stiff from like lifting and practice. Last thing I want to do is like play golf. So let's see if we can find my ball because I have no idea where it went. Whose shot are we playing here? Nice shot, Mike. Sean Mulcahy is not a professional golfer. In fact, on most days this nice, you'll find him in a professional football practice. But today he's participating in the Dan Orlovsky Foundation's golf tournament to raise money for children. Sean and Dan played football together at UConn, and according to Sean, he owes Dan big time. But he would help us out. We would have this two-minute drill mm -hmm. at the end of practice. And it sucked. It was at the end of practice. It's no huddle. It's like, it's very tiring. It's almost like conditioning. Mm -hmm. And um, we'd be like, yo, Dan. Throw us a bone here, because I'd be on defense. Yeah. And he'd throw us a pick, like second place, so we'd be out of there. And we'd be like, that's our man, taking care of us. Nice. Oh, so if he hooks you up, you know, you got to come back and uh, help him out. Absolutely. So he came up to me, like, I don't know, last year, I guess, when he started. And he's like, yo, I'm doing this golf tournament and this fundraiser. He's like, I'd love for you to be there. I'm like, kidding me? I had a question. Whenever anything's involved with, like, kids, it's like, you know, you were a kid once. It's like, why would you not want to help out kids, you know? I'm a year older than him. I came in one year before him. I mean, and living really close to him in Connecticut and being Connecticut boys, you know, we're always down to help each other out. So, you know, this is a cause that means a lot to him. He's kind of, like, been through it. He can relate to it and things like that. So. I know in turn if there were other things for other people, he would he would help out. I'm on a golf course. <laughs> oh. Fucking god damn it. Ah, left. Sean spent some time playing overseas in NFL Europe, a league that recently closed its doors. It's a great thing, it really is. A lot of people don't get to experience anything like that. Going over there and interacting with like different cultures is really great. Um, I thought it was much better when you know, they had a team in Barcelona and yeah. London. Um, the talent was good. They got good players. I mean, they're not the best because they're not in the NFL, but they had good players. And every year, there was at least a dozen guys who made an active roster right. and then another dozen guys who made practice squads. So it's not like the players weren't there. But you know, people weren't really feeling it as much. A lot of people always ask, you know, you got so many teams in Germany, why not in Munich? Yeah. I guess their fan base wasn't really interested either. Now, if I'm downhill, put it in the back of my stance, right? Uh, no. Front? Right. Play normal. Yeah, Play normal. Just hit the ball. <laughs> hey, I'm just, you know, trying to have a little fun out here. I charge extra for less. <laughs> That's four tickets. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Just in case you couldn't tell, Sean likes to have fun. But for all that was good about Sean's time in Europe, it did have one major flaw. So we didn't get Comedy Central or anything? Yeah. So, um, that was frustrating. But at least he had his Conan. When uh, Conan O'Brien takes over letter, uh, Leno, Leno's gonna retire, yep. I'm gonna take over Conan's spot. You're a Conan fan? Yeah. It was amazing. He's hilarious. Tall, tall Irishman as well. <laughs> I don't have the hair though. Well, I, don't I got know gray hair. Oh my god. Already? Yeah. yeah. Finally. While he couldn't watch his favorite shows, he did get to have some fun like in Europe Bill? with another passion of his, fast cars. Um, I was on the Autobahn, and they had the new C-Class. Uh -huh. Got it up to like 210 kilometers. Jesus. It's like 130. Yeah. It was so good. It was all, People were still passing me. Yeah, well, still they're... passing. Big fan of the Audi A8 L. Yeah. Like that a lot. It's too big for me. I, I need it. Love yeah, it. Wow. Love it. Yeah. You got, uh, I don't know, what are you, 6'5"? Six, 6'6". Six, six. You got 6'6". Six, six. My uh, friends just got um, the new Infiniti GX, mm -hmm. 35. Yeah, that seat goes all the way back. I fit in it really well, and that's quick, too. Yeah. All-wheel drive, too. Yeah. So it's a nice that's... car. A couple of my teammates have them in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. 
We did some donuts in the parking lot one day after practice. Um, we used to have a uh, Grand Prix supercharged oh, yeah. G2P. Then I went with the SUV because I got bigger. I like it, but I really would, wouldn't mind get, trying to get that new, what is it, the Challenger and the Camaro that are coming out for Dodge and Chevy? They're coming out with like a new Camaro. It looks amazing. Thanks. College debt to Dan or not, Sean does whatever he can to help charitable causes. In terms of charity, yeah, I just do whatever I can for his because I don't really have one. No, that's awesome. Yeah. We do the Walter Camp down in New Haven. You know, he, it's it's uh, college all Americans, Walter Camp, and you know Connecticut guys who are in the league are still playing. Usually get invited to it. So we just go to a hospital for that, and Dan is very involved in that. So we go to the hospitals for kids and stuff. You know, he he usually brings me along for anything. Hanging with Sean Mulcahy and hacking up a perfectly beautiful golf course in the name of kids. Dan Cohen, Press Pass TV. Well, we hope you enjoyed that story. Thanks for joining us. You can check out some more behind-the-scenes action on our website at PressPassTV.com or on our YouTube page at YouTube.com slash PressPass. We update our stories frequently, so check back often. For everyone here at Press Pass, I'm Michael Artsis. Be terrific.